So, hello America. Welcome to our classroom. It's a beautiful day outside, and most of our students would probably be outside rather than inside. But we are in here. At least the windows are open. Would it help if the shades were lowered for videotaping, or do you like the lights better? It's fine. Okay. So, hello everybody. Hello. Kind of wrist, wrist, elbow, elbow, wrist, wrist, elbow, elbow. Which, if you're ever on a float, I'm told that's what you, you're supposed to do. Wrist, wrist, elbow, elbow, wrist, wrist, elbow, elbow. Right? Huh? That's kind of beauty queen, yeah. you know, wave. Wrist, wrist, elbow, elbow, wrist, wrist. Which is really the joke part of it. The if you same like this for an hour and a half on a float, you probably feel like your wrist is going to fall. So, there you go. It might, I mean, you and I, it's probably not something we're going to have to worry about. You know, which is really kind of the joke part of it for me to do it. But, I mean, you can tell everybody heard, including those, on, those in our viewing audience, how loudly you all laughed when I did that. <laughs> and so... Anyway, I'm an, I'm, thankfully, I'm an accounting professor, not a comedian. So what page in the handy handout should we be in? 61. Did we learn anything at all last class period, Davis, or did we just waste our time here? Did we learn a lot? Matt Montgomery, who really is here? What did we learn last class period? Anything? What's that mean? <laughs> More pro cost, volume, profit relationships. What's that mean? Problems, uh, we did some problems. Did we do some break-even problems? Yeah, no. mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yeah. Class at break-even knit income is? Zero. That wasn't too bad. Class. Now, Will, you have to say it too. Yeah. Okay, but <laughs> say it with everybody else. Say it with everybody else. Class. At break even, net income is zero. That's not too bad, is it? I mean, if you're going to do it, if you have to do it, yes, ma'am. I have a question. Please. Oh, uh, over the homework? Yeah. Well, yeah. Or just a question? A question about the homework. Oh. <coughs> I may or may not be able to answer, but you can ask and I'll try. Marginal safety ratio? Yes. Yeah. And the formula that I would use. Is a little different? Yeah. And so. That I'll check. I'll, is, that what you were, is that what you were saying to me too, Katie, or something that different? No, I know the question. Okay. That's, if you remember to send me an email, that'll be easier for me to double check that. Okay. Because uh, I don't have the solutions in front of me in order to be able to talk about that. And so, but that's the problem with books. You know, they're not always the same. You know, which is confusing for students, you know, and I apologize for that, but uh, I will address that. But if you can remember to send me an email, that would be helpful. Any other? Did we do it? Did we do? How do you calculate break even in units, Scott Musgrave? Who really, really wants to uh, come to class on time next class period? I think that's correct. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Fixed cost plus operating income divided by contribution margin with a dramatic pause per unit. Ashton Pitts, mm -hmm. how about break even in dollars? Um, fixed cost plus operating income divided by the cost margin ratio and oh. contribution margin. One of, the, one of the two, maybe. Do you know? CMR? What's CMR stand for? Contribution margin ratio. Contribution margin ratio. And I said cost at first. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. And that's where the pain. That's where the pain. Yes, you were. You were very right. Contribution margin ratio. How do you calculate the contribution margin ratio, Anthony? Oh! 
Oh! You don't know what SPU is? Kristen, do you? Can you help him out? He needs a lot of help sometimes. Selling price per unit. Selling price per unit. Awesome. So, so what question were you answering and what's your answer? That works for me. Contribution margin per unit over selling price per unit equals the contribution margin ratio. So now, but that begs the question, doesn't it? Armando, how do you calculate contribution margin per unit? Very good. Con uh, selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit equals selling, uh, <laughs> contribution margin per unit. Wow. I was just counting how many people are resting their <laughs> face on their hand. A few. And, and those who were just moved. How are you, Megan? Are you tired? You're good. You're tired, but you're good. So what page 61 was it not? Let's go to page 61. Let's learn some stuff. What are we going to be learning about today, Megan, on page 61? Relevant costs. What is a relevant cost? Well, that's what I'm here for, huh? A relevant cost, <coughs> Katie and the rest of the class, is a cost that is avoidable. A relevant cost, sir, where's page 61? It's not 71, 61. Uh, yeah. Sorry. That's okay. Are you going to get another one of those? What? I would suggest you get a fresh one. Gesundheit, which is the same thing. So Katie, what's a relevant cost? A cost that is avoidable. See how easy that is and how easy that was? Now, uh, and, and we're, we're going to find those are going to, rel what's relevant is going to be different for different decisions. A sunk cost, ECTA and the rest of the class, a sunk cost is a cost already incurred. A cost already incurred. So a sunk cost is a cost already incurred. So ECTA, what is a sunk cost? A cost already incurred. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay. 